Welcome back, everyone, to Victoria 2. I'm your host, French, or Monsieur Mocha Lover. And we're right now, it's July 4th, 1843, and we're taking a look at our population just because we probably want to keep this in mind as time goes on, as we take out other nations, and our culture will eventually, or at least the French culture, will slowly get smaller and smaller and smaller. But we have quite a few other. We have uh, about the same amount as Breton, some Maghrebi now, some Picard, a few South Germans as well, some Afro Antillians, Car Carabino. But unfortunately in France, we've got rebels already in 1843. Unfortunately, they're Jacobins. Now, if I remember, I don't know that much about Jacobins since I'm an American, but uh, these guys like kind of revolutionary Republicans. Like they want a Republic, Republic form of government. So I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. Regardless, we're already at war uh, with Kutai just because I thought we should be at war with them. And then hopefully the next war will be the one against Qing China. Well, we need to make more armies, of course, but we've got quite a few comments to go through as well. Let's speed this up a little bit more. And we've got 10 infamy. Oh, Finland defaults. Uh, I don't really care. They better pay out, pay out their debts. Uh, Rodez. And we have more reforms. All right, so what do people want? As we established in the last video, universal voting. Wow. They would rather have universal voting, so everyone's allowed to vote, except for those who are bound by uh, <clears throat> other servituted means. Cool. So, mobilization, starting land experience. Ah, I'll have no draft. How about that? That's what they really came here for, right? No draft. Cool. So, war with Bali as well as Kutai. Some comments, though. So, I recommend we take over the British Empire. Uh, I'm not sure about taking them over as much as just kind of... For now, they're our allies. Eventually, I will beat them up, and we will become the global power. Eventually, we'll also have to fight the Germans as well. So... We've got plans. Okay, we've got a lot of plans. For now, I think it's just best for if we just go ahead and get as much territory as possible. There goes, oh, uh, Pope, you're spending too much money. Um, it's just best that we get the colonies now, so. Uh, if you'd like to read about this again, I think I read this last time. Bloody Revolutionaries. The old order must be defended. Um, let's go Bloody Revolutionaries. I want to become more liberal. So, hey, there goes the Jacobins this time. Regardless. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. For now, I want to get as many territories, because eventually this stuff is going to slow down where you can't take over other nations, really, because they'll be in other spheres, they'll be puppets of other people, and that's going to get a little boring. So around middle game-ish is when we're going to really start thinking about reforming ourselves a little bit more, so, and taking out other people eventually late game, which is my main goal. Uh, let's see, other comments. Some people, okay, so, with the comments from yesterday, obviously we're playing as France. And France, especially in the early 19th century, has had a wild time, we'll put it like that. So, some people want me to go with a, uh, a republic. Others want me to get a republic or republican communist government. Uh, others people want me to bring back an absolute monarchy, bring back Napoleon. I'll see what we can do. I'll try to bring back Napoleon. Frankly, it doesn't really matter to me too much as long as we can <clears throat> take over other people. Not enslave them, but take them over with involuntarily. That's all. I just want to map paint. That's my main goal. <laughs> Playing Victoria too. It doesn't matter really which nation. Uh, but if we get Napoleon, that'd be really cool. So we'll try that. We're, last time we took out Haiti. We took out Sulu up here. We took out parts of Algeria. Again. Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Become more liberal. And liberal insurrection in Le Mans. Send in the troops. Negotiate with the leaders. Let's try that one. Uh, so no, not too bad. Not too bad. So hopefully we can get this done. We're still getting slightly more population. Not very much more though. And can we negotiate a peace deal? Exactly what I wanted. Ah, oh, very good. Ah, port, yes. Uh, let's see. We have such little money because I was starting to build some ports and such, which is probably a bad idea. You guys go on home and actually go on home. Oh, yeah, white piece. Nice. Oh, uh, you know, don't go there because we're going to need at least two armies when we go to war with the Chinese. So I'll take you guys as well since you guys are not a great stack, actually, but they'll do okay. They won't do great. Um, that's as many armies as we really do have. Uh, let's see some other comments before I move on. So I recommend we get as many reforms as possible. So yeah, reforms. I'll try to, I'm, my goal is to get as many reforms. That's why I've not gotten rid of slavery yet, because slavery is a very good thing if you want to push for more political reforms, and probably eventually, uh, you know, social reforms. Let's see, I should get the Rhine, the natural borders of the Rhine. So I will take the Rhine eventually, like don't get me wrong, I will take it eventually. We'll get there. The Alps, I do want to, I really want to get a Jingoist party. I don't know if we can or not. Oh wait. We can't just fire, really, because we need to violate the neutrality, which is something I actually really, really want to do. So, yeah. I do want to violate Swiss neutrality, but we need a war policy of jingoism. But, unfortunately, none of our parties have that idea. War, Pro-war, anti-war, anti-military, you know, whatever it is. So, there's that. Uh, get the Pyrenees. Basically, I'm probably going to try to get Catalonia eventually as well. Or just take more of Spain, but... 
my goal is to take other nations out first, and then we'll do with that stuff a little bit later on. Uh, other people recommend I fight everyone in the world. Well, that's certainly something. Um, we'll probably end up doing that during the Great Wars, so... Oh. Okay. Sure. Oh! How dare you, UK? I'm not sure if being allied with America is really a good bet. I mean, they're strong, don't get me wrong. They're not extremely strong, but, you know, they're still, what, six in the world? So, hopefully the UK doesn't come kill us. We should re increase our relations with them. And finally, yeah. I should try out HFM France. Historical flavor mod, but eventually we will. And here we are, everyone. April 5th, 1845. We have a few more comps to go through, but right now I've already gone to war with China. And here are our allies. America to Sicily, Sardinia, Piedmont. The Papal States, the Pope of the Pope, Carlos Spain, and us versus the Chinese and our allies. Now, I never know how exactly to beat up the Chinese. Third Central American Civil War, what the heck is going on? Fifth Um, but, uh, Third and Fifth Central America. what happened to the fourth one? Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to invade the island of Formosa. And hopefully do okay. Uh, let's see, I'm taking my other fleet up here too to help blockade a lot of areas around here, hopefully. If not, uh, it's only one. I might do these group two as well. There, that's nice. That's nice. And we don't have a port to reinforce with, which actually kind of sucks. That's all right. We're going to beat them up if we can. That'd be kind of nice. They don't have a lot of strength, which is good. Papal, Pope starting to mobilize. Sardinia, Piedmont starting to mobilize. Uh, other comments included, uh, how do I run the economy? That's a good question. So I don't really know. Uh, I just do it until like we hit green. Green is good. Red is bad. The higher the green number, the better I feel. The worse, the lower the red number, or really the bigger the red number, the worse we feel. So I use tariffs. Sometimes some people say you don't use them. Sometimes use them. Um, I just use them just to get more money. That's literally it. And since we're at war, I max this up. As someone said in a previous uh, campaign I've done, if you get to 100% administration, you can move the slider to 51% and it still have the same effects. I think that's what someone said. And I always subsidize things just because I want my workers to feel good about themselves. So I don't know everything perfectly about Victoria 2. So I just play it until I think I kind of know what's going on. That's pretty much Ryuku. Oh, cool. So we got rid of some more people. And as you can see, we can outlaw slavery, but why would we want to do that? All right, so let's go and continue invading this area. Our ships are not looking very good. We actually might lose a few here. Oh, can you get up there? That'd be kind of nice, actually. We're trying to blockade these areas. Actually, I might blockade other areas as well. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of people down there. We could send soldiers over there as well, but that'd be pretty darn risky. So you guys deploy. We'll take one, two, three, four, and then maybe somewhere else as well. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, Montenegro, I thought you were Switzerland at first. No, I think I'm okay. Yeah, slavery, kind of okay for now. Alright, let's hope this goes well. Okay, very nice. Can get a Peng, Peng, who? Cool. Yeah, we can really use a port around here. I mean, we got one coming uh, here. It's actually really close to being done, which is actually really, really good, because we need a naval outpost here. Oh, uh, yeah, so every army professionals will actually help us out when we go to war with them. So. And do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and satisfied. War score so far, 1% still. Probably making more uh, battalions, divisions, whatever they want to call them. Uh, what do we have? Oh, thanks. Lujlan. We're not allied with the British. Someone does recommend I go to war with Italy first. Not Italy. With the Prussians early on so, we get, so they never come back around here. That's pretty dip I don't know. Maybe it's not too difficult, but I'm not great, that great of a Hoi, Hoi 4 player. I'm not that great of a Hoi 4 player. I'm pretty good. But Victoria 2? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to wait until they form... The, first of all, I'm going to wait until they form the North German Federation because I, I want all these pops annexed. I... It, there's too much border gore here for me to really feel good about this. It helps. It might help speed the game just slightly, maybe. But uh, I, if they're going to take all terrain, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. They are going to take all terrain because unless we have a god tier general with like four defense, like I don't think I can beat them up. Actually, what are you guys doing over here? Uh, yeah, you guys go over there because we need to make a bigger army too. De Gaulle. I mean, so the Prussians are strong, but once we get like the Great War going, defense like is way too strong. Then we'll beat them up. We'll dismantle them then probably. So, that's the plan. Just because I'm not extremely good at Hoi... F Victoria 2. Victoria 2. I play too much Hoi 4, as you can tell. Uh, in addition, right now... Uh, it's probably too late. Let's go grab some... Let's grab some of this. Why not? 
And what do we have here? La Légion étrangère. I do not speak French. Uh, it is known as foreign language. Le Legion is a military unit of the French army, with the unique distinction that in it accepts its recruits regardless of their nation and personal backgrounds. While it originally established as early as 1830, the Legion did not win the lasting legacy it enjoys today until it had been seen action during, among others, the Spanish Carlos Wars, the French intervention in Mexico, the Battle of Camarón, the Franco-Prussian War, and in fact almost every conflict involving France up until and through the modern era. The image of the young man, perhaps on the run from some personal tragedy, oppression, debt, or a criminal past who joins the French Legion, French Foreign Legion, to serve a tour of personal redemption in the deserts of French Algeria, has since become one of the most iconic and enduring images of the 19th century. Promote the Legion and see recruits flock to our banners. And all we needed was army professionalism, more prestige until the end of the game, which for now I set to 1980, and more mobilization size. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. Oh, we're done here too. So what we might do is we might actually. Ooh, what is a good place to defend in? Because if there's mountains, I don't mind defending there. Grassland Hills gives you. Just one defense, one defense. There's a lot of grasslands. I'm not really sure where to defend. Yeah, because... Or attack. Just because I want a place to defend in. Look at that. Anti-Machu sentiment. Ooh. Oh, that's right. They do have their little civil war. Oh. Terrain. The supply is really bad. Defense doesn't help you at all. Um, getting to Peking. That is a province, but that's just grassland hills. Uh, grassland hills... Right, that's just, yeah, grass on hills. Yeah, I don't know. There's no real good place for me to attack to or from. So, and is this port done yet? Please tell me it's done. Oh, it is done. Nice. For now, I'm going to send these guys. Well, yeah, you guys are not looking too bad. Hmm. All right, so what is the war score like? Because I've never really done this before. I'm not really sure. Okay, so the blockades are really actually trying to help out us a little bit. So I'm going to split these guys in half. Come over here, I'll split these guys in half as well. Hey, these guys showed up! Nice job, guys. Uh, supplies are really bad down there. I'll split you guys in half as well. And then you guys come over there. Nice, there we go. Ooh, societal status, not bad. So, what do we need for this? Proposed peace, we need up to 10. Wow. If that's a case, I might be able to split you up again and you might be able to blockade these guys over here this might be enough to do it and I don't have enough consciousness or militancy that for me to really care let's take a look so blockades plus three does that help any more no, attack or blockades 2.4 we're going back down to two percent I kind of just want to attack and beat them up but we'll see what happens 2.17 there goes Afghanistan it looks like a lot of people down there. Ionian Islands default. Don't really care, I'll be honest. Uh, did you, someone move up? Oh, someone left that position. That's fine. Uh, I'll split you in half as well. Now our money's not looking too good because I've been building a lot of forts too. Hey, you guys are over here too. Nice. Good job, guys. Big to clear one. Zosa is not bad. Now we're back up to 5, 4.32. Hopefully this will do even a little bit more, maybe. If not, you know, then it is what it is. Attack your occupation is not bad. 4.32. Morocco? No, Morocco. I'm probably going to annex you later on, Morocco. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to send my soldiers in. That's probably going to end in a lot of bloodshed, but it is what it is. 4.32. There's nothing I can really do about that. No. Hmm. They have armies all around the place, and even their own navy. Oh, the Americans are here, too. Look at that. We are second in the world, so as long as our allies actually are able to take them out, that's not bad. We're losing quite a bit of money. Uh, let's see, what does this say? More reactions in the upper house, which is... Oh, hello. Oh, mobilization impact, not bad. It says we are America. Increase relations. Mexico. I don't really feel like increasing relations with them. UK. Increase relations, just in case. Five. Okay, blockades, 5.07. Not bad. That might not be enough, though. And It is hurting our ships a little bit. Navy organization is not bad. Obviously, we had dreadnoughts that would be much better, but whatever. Oh, the <laughs> Great Irish Famine. They must not interfere in the markets. Oh, boy. So, hey, if you guys play Victoria 2, how do you guys take out China and take the treaty ports? Because I'm always interested in learning how we can do this a little better. Hmm. At this point, I just kind of want... Hmm. They're not that strong. Screw it, I'm just going to attack him probably then. 
get our boys back. Actually, you guys go right. Yeah, actually, you guys just stay here then. Uh, if anything, you guys go back up there. Combine these guys together, and we'll send some boys over. It's probably a really bad idea. It's alright. Because then they'll throw a lot of soldiers at us, probably. So, Alright, we got boys. Yes, we do. I'm going to probably send them down here, because... Oh, well, actually, it might just stay right here. If we could attack them here... Because I know attacking like this is really bad, but they have no morale. So... Okay, that's what I thought. Actually, I don't think we'd be able to peace out now, since we just killed every single one of them. Would we? No. War score is four. That's fine. That'd be nice. I, you know what? I'm just going to send them here, too. I want to kill that other stack. Uh, so, what are you doing? There you go. There you go. So, there's more money. We'll deal with that in just a little bit. If I have to raise taxes, so be it. There we go. If we want to do that, that's fine. Uh, we can go something like that, maybe. Alright, never mind. We did well. I just go there then. Alright, can we pick those pieces? Yep, nope. We need a little bit more. Oof. Not bad. And then you guys. You're not. There's not a lot of you guys, but that's alright. There doesn't have to be a lot of them. Where are you going? Some of the ships are looking really bad. Wow. Oh, uh, sure. Come on in. Uh, so, oh, we're at seven. Not bad, not bad. I'd rather just destroy their army. We should be able to destroy it, right? We should be able to. Slightly fewer soldiers, but that morale is so bad. Oh, you want to read about the constitutional crisis again? Go right ahead, but not bad. Oh, what happened? Here. Krakowan War of Imperial Restoration. Oh, it is 46. There's no, no, not too much there. Sh Ooh, they're going to Shao Zhu? Um, we'll see, I guess. Actually, before we do that. Nope. Not enough. There we go. That's what I, I, we want to see. Still 7%. That sucks. Oh. Alright. We got it. Nice. Alright. So this is going to really suck trying to get back home. Uh, you guys come over here. And what place do we want? Actually, I should have looked this up before we did it. Oh, they're mobilizing. Oh, good. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Very cool. Now, what port do we want? I forget exactly what port is good. Qingdao is pretty cool. Wei Hai is pretty cool. Historically, France did get Kuang Chowan, which I know I'm saying completely wrong. I think I might want Ningbo or Shanghai. Shanghai seems like a really good place. You know what? I'm going to look it off screen, look it up off screen, and figure out which one I want the most. Alright, everyone, so I looked it up a little bit, and olden times, it was recommended that. Qingdao was probably the best with West Shandong, I think. I could be wrong about that. But I'm not going to take this because there's less than 7,000 people there. And so basically what we can take is Wei Highway, which is, uh, it's okay, it's got grain. Qingdao, which is, you know, got fruit, not that much population. We can take Shanghai, which isn't too bad, and I like that tea. I like this stuff. Uh, and actually, we're importing quite a bit of it, which would be really good. We get Jia Jing with 100,000 people in silk. That's not bad, I like that. We can take Ningbo with 300,000 people in there. Uh, and I believe the last one we can take uh, is Kuang Chowan, Kong Chowan, which I talked about earlier. So ultimately, I think I'm going to go ahead and just grab uh, Ningbo, actually, just because of that population. I want as much population as possible, and we can use those Chinese soldiers as cannon fodder when we invade places like Africa, South America, and other great places like that, just because we're, we aren't having that many population. We don't have that much population, so I think that'd be okay with Ningbo, right? Right. Okay, I don't want to make a mistake. Ningbo is a good one. So Ningbo is one of China's oldest cities. 
With a history dating to the Hemudu culture in 4800 BC, Ningbo is known as a trade city on the Silk Road at least 2,000 years ago, and then as a major port along with Yangzhou and Guangzhou and the Tang Dynasty thereafter. The major ports of foreign trade in the Song Dynasty, a walled city sandwiched between the ocean and low-lying mountains of the southwest, with coastal plain and valleys in between, that plays an important role in controlling the important peninsulas of Chuan Shan and Jiang Shan Peninsula. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, the textile industry flourished in Ningbo and Qing China. I love it. We get a treaty port, giving us farm size and mine size 8 plus, 800%. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, uh, constitutional crisis. I don't really care. And this is ours. Okay, so we can build 2 out of 2. That's not too bad. We're going to build this up, build it roads, and I'll see you in just a little bit. And now we have the day's insult. As a result of what the French considered an insult to the French consul in Algiers by the day in 1827, France blockaded Algiers for three years. In 1830, France invaded and occupied the coastal areas of Algeria, citing a diplomatic incident as Casus Belli. Hussein Day, the last Ottoman regent of Algiers, went to, into exile. Soon after the conquest of Algiers, the soldier politician Bertrand Clazel and others formed a company to acquire agricultural land and despite official discouragement, to subsidize its settlement by European farmers, triggering a land rush. Clazel recognized the farming potential of the Metija Plain and envisioned the production there of cotton on a large scale. Consequently, French colonization penetrated southwards in Algeria with skirmishes erupting between Europeans and the native population. Amir Abdelkadir El Jazari fled south, regrouping and organizing new resistance against the Europeans' advances. March of the Iron Gates. We can get demand concession with them. Ooh, I don't want to lose any more infamy, but... That's alright. You know what we're going to do, though? I've already lowered spending a little bit for our military, but we're looking okay here. How strong are they? They've got nobody. Okay. Um, Saxony? Ooh. Ooh, what happened here? Doesn't... Uh, no, that's pretty normal, I guess. Ooh. Hmm. They're fourth... These guys are fourth in the world. They're stronger than Prussia. Uh, would you like an alliance? No... And who's doing? Tuscany's fighting the... Oh. Tuscany's getting a little angry, huh? Oh, God. They're allied with those guys, too. Uh, we're okay with that. We can still do that stuff, but... I want to wait until the end of the month so we can lower our... Uh, infamy here, so... That'll be good. And let's go to War Demand Concession of Algerian Oran. Thank you. And it's just a little bit more warfare, and we already have guys here, right? So it's okay. It's totally okay. Especially I'm sending soldiers home, too. Hopefully. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, are you... Oh, maybe I forgot to send him home. Uh, actually, I'm going to send you guys down here first, just because you might actually die, but I don't remember to put stuff on there. So, there you go. Sorry, trying to throw our soldiers there. And Afghanistan, you're getting beaten up by the Persians. Good job, Afghanistan. Good job. Cholera, I don't really care. If you like three brothers, go right ahead. Mm. Quarantine the province, probably. It's probably the right move to do. For now, at least. Take him out, please. Please, please. Oh, uh, you guys are actually fourth. That's not too bad. Hmm. I want more Chinese provinces. Not gonna lie, I want more. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Log what? Oh, do we have ships here yet? No, we do not. Because I sent the other fleet. Not the transport fleet, but the other fleet with us over here. Morocco, UK... I do not want to get called into that war against them, please. We like the Pope and all, but please do not go to war with them. They're 7th seventh, seventh score. These guys have 79, we have 85, but our guys are really split across the world, which is not very good. Alright, and we got them. Nice. Can we demand anything yet from them? Yes. Nice. Now, this is not looking too bad, I'd say. And do we have anyone here that... No, you're looking actually pretty nice and full. Cool. Recruitment map mode. Uh, you guys come over here then. Oh, three dragoons. Man, what type of army is this? Uh, let's see if we can create a new group. Berber 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to cut these guys down to 2. Because then we can save these guys for something else up north. Because then you guys... Actually, you guys are looking not too bad. I think I'm already trying to make 5 artillery as it is, right? 1, 2, 3, 4... Wait, I'll take a leave. 4, 5... Five. Where's Medea? Mama Medea. Let's see. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's what they were doing. Um, all right. So we could probably make probably another artillery then over here, and another artillery just in case. Oh, actually, no. Don't do that one. 
No, actually, you guys become artillery. Because the soldiers, the infantry, actually are the ones who die, so. Alright, not bad, and... Well, I could cut it out, but we'll see what happens with this. I definitely don't want to do that. But we got military plans, so if we do have to go to war, we will go to war. And if I have to fight through these guys, so be it. I definitely don't want to get involved, though. Alright, not bad, we just got that finished. I'm going to go and grab some... Not this stuff, but functionalism, so we get some more... Research points, that'd be kind of nice. Shippies? Any sh ah, there we go. There's one fleet over here. And we can probably return the other fleet back and get the other soldiers here. And I'm going to send these guys home. Nice. Good, alright. And once they're ready to go... We might have to send Italy, depending on what happens. There we go. Nice. First one going out. Slavery. No one really cares, hopefully. Let's take a look, actually. Freedom of the womb. Alright, well, whatever. Tuscany, you better not do anything. You bet. Oh, Louis Napoleon flees. After his failed coup of 1840, Louis Napoleon, former nephew of well, nephew of Emperor Napoleon I, was sentenced to spend the remainder of his life in the fortress of Ham. However, in May 1846, he was managed to flee and escape to Great Britain. Oh boy. He might be making a return trip here eventually. Well, oh, the Mexican American War. Oh, this might be time for us to go to war with Mexico then. Ooh, maybe. I hope so. Let's take a look at them. So if they're fighting these guys. Ooh, 27, and they're mobilized. Oh, I think it's time to return to the Americas, don't you think? I think so. And now we have the Baker and the King. During the early years of the New Mexican Republic, there was widespread civil disorder as factions competed for control of the country. The fighting often resulted in the destruction or looting of private property, foreigners whose property was damaged or destroyed by rioters or bands were usually unable to obtain compensation from the Mexican government and they began to appeal their own, to their own governments for help and compensation. And a complaint to the French King, a French party or pastry chef known only as Monsieur Remontel, claimed that in 1832, Mexican officers looted his shop in Tacubaya. Other complaints from French nationals, among them the looting in 1828 of French shops at the Par Parian market, and the execution in 19 1837 of a French citizen accused of piracy, culminated in 1847 with Prime Minister Louis Matou Mollet commending, recommending a demand for Mexico for the payment of 600,000 pesos, 3 million francs, 122,000 pounds, for the damages. Which better not bother with such a amount. Mexico will be held responsible. Um, in the meantime, I'm also beginning to justify on Mexico. Now, I'm going to. I'm getting a state. Now, we could make him a puppet, which actually might do really good for us, especially once they own all this. But I don't like seeing Mexico this large. I prefer America just take all the normal American border stuff. So I want America to do that. And then we'll puppet Mexico. Because once they're done and dusted with, Mexico will be under us. And I really actually wanted to take a state. Really, this era, Veracruz, I've heard, is actually very, very good. As well as this other areas for precious metals. But then it looked really bad. So I think I'm just going to take the Yucatan. But we'll see when we get there. Well, unfortunately, Mexico refuses to pay reparations. The Mexican government refuses to take any steps towards the payment of reparations to the French government. And Paris, senior government figures scramble to organize a response as the gears of war start moving. It seems like a French intervention in Mexico is all but ine inevitable for now. They're not worth our time, or if they're unwilling to pay peacefully, we will force them. I mean, we literally might as well, right? It's really disappointing that I just can't take land off of them, but hey. That just means we'll come back and take them out later on, right? I was literally justifying on them, but you know what? I guess... If we have to come over, Mexico, this is what you're forcing us to do. Yucatan Sea, why not? Uh, let's go and do this as well. We're going to need to spend a... Oh, I'm taxing the crap out of the middle class, aren't I? And make sure that we're... Nope, war justifications are gone. I didn't realize that this would be so fast. And slavery is still okay with us. Which actually... We should probably get rid of it. Freedom of the womb. Effects pop promotion chance. Ooh, let's see... This is a year after 1875. Well, let's do outlawed. Finally, okay. It took us France until 1847 to outlaw slavery. It is what it is, you know. Mexico, you better pay up. Because I'm going to come here multiple times. And this is why I have Ford Operating Base Haiti. Just in case things like this happen. Hey, look, we're fourth in the world for industry now. I don't know if we'll actually be able to keep that. But hey, that's okay. Alright, let's come over here now. And we're losing population, which is not a good thing. Uh, yeah. 
Cool. And I want to expand our African Colonial Holdings as well. So many places we want to take out. And are we there yet? Come on. Come on. America, you're doing a great job. Just beat up the Mexican army some more for us. I greatly appreciate that. And we're doing functionalism as well for stuff. We have a colonial unrest. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. But, preserve the calm. The situation will pass. I'm looking at this app. Inspired nationalists. Nationalists and friends, inspired by the wave of liberalism in a neighboring nation, have risen up. Agitators are running through the streets, waving flags and calling for the brethren to fight for freedom. Responding with violence can inflame the entire state, but the French officials agree that this cannot be allowed to continue. Languedoc. Eh, whatever. Hey! You know what? This is the perfect time to go to war with France. We, or France. we are France. We met with Mexico because Americans are already trying to kill off Mexico already. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, what's going on down here? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. It is 47. We're going to see the Hungarian Revolution happen eventually, which will be kind of cool. We're going straight to Mexico City. And are we not blockading them here? Or what's going on? Maybe it's, maybe it's happening, but we just can't see it, maybe? I don't know. Good. Huh. Actually, we should probably take out Morocco, too. I want the board to look kind of nice over there, so. Nice. There's so much I want to do. But, unfortunately, Victoria 2 takes so much longer to actually you know, make videos about or through or of that it takes so much extra time off screen. Like, oh. That's why I, I love playing Victoria 2, but it just takes so much extra time. As ISP said before in one of his videos as well, he's like, yep. Yeah, we love Victoria 2, but sometimes it just takes so long. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes I'm, I'm just really limited for times at time. Parma, uh, I'm okay. Okay, so Mexico, do you want to pay up? Beautiful. Finally. Alright, everyone, so it's February 1st, 1849, and right now, we're not going to go to war with anyone in Asia or Africa, even though Africa's looking not too bad now, but we got to put these guys down a little bit later. Oh, Tukalor Empire still exists here, and they love slaves! Ah, what a bunch of barbarians. Slavery, not cool, man. But, regardless. So, we're actually going to go to war with Belgium, because no, they have no allies. They're a great power, and they have no allies. And their score is 15, so I want to beat them up. Because, well, they got a lot of good things. They got a lot of coal, a lot more coal. And I think this will help us with our natural borders in Europe, so. Hopefully we do okay. We'll see what happens. I want, well, Valonia, and actually, will people join us? People will join us! Ah, let's go in, boys, and have a good old time. The U.S., I mean, this ain't too bad now, is it? Um, can you actually move there quickly enough? Gold Rush and Cayenne? No, look at that. A dried-up old traveler's return from the wilderness. When given a whiskey, he says with a hoarse voice, Gold, I found gold, a mountain of g, -g, g gold Oh, come on, I want to beat him up. Give me your body so I can love you. There we go, that's where we like it. And we'll, I mean... If it's like this, great. Oh, wow. The Netherlands has a secondary power, but way more allies. These guys have nobody. And they're, they're mobilizing. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, and now they're moving around as well. We'll see what happens. And I'm trying to influence Hanover more. Oh, that sucks. If that's the case, uh, let's see who else we're going to do. What happened to... Oh, Saxony's still here. That's good. Saxony's being influenced by the Austrians, which is good. The Cordial... Uh, I might do someone else here. Maybe, like, Oldenburg? Let's do Nassau, maybe. How's that? Neutral, sphere, hostile. Just to piss off the Prussians. How about that? Come on, get someone done. There we go. Prussia doesn't like it that we're messing with them. Then again, I probably wouldn't either. State capitalism is nice. Hey, the Italian guys... I guess we'll probably help the Italians eventually. Oh, let me, well, this Sicilian guys are here, too. Nice. Ah, oh. oh Belgium, you are a mistake. Really, we should have split you between us and the Netherlands, but whatever. And then we should have taken them over after that too. Where are you guys coming from? Not bad. I'd hate to be. I oh, I guess we're taking out Taki Senpai now. Yeah, more soldiers is not bad. Take them out, boys. Ah. Beautiful. They're not moving their own soldiers there. He must be a good defender, maybe, or just AI doesn't want to move. I don't know. But, that's alright. Slowly getting a bigger army. We're currently doing medicine as well, because we did enough research. Uh, looking pretty good. 
Belgium was a mistake. Except for Taki Senpai. Except for him, of course. Carlos Spain. I'm waiting just for Carlos, Carlos Spain to die. Uh, then I'm going to get... There won't be another sphere. And then we will go to war with them and take out Catalonia. Because why not? Yep, Jingoism is nice. Alright, that's very, very good. Let's see if we can piece them out. Yeah. No. We, oh, God. We basically took everything. That's fine. Uh, if that's the case, so be it. So be it. So be it. It's fine with me. I was hoping we could piece them out early, but I guess not. I'd like to lower our infamy a little bit more. It's currently 12. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, there you go. Good, good. Also, let me know in the comments below. This is probably a terrible idea, but... Should we violate Swiss neutrality? Since we do have a new party here, we're normally legitimates, but we lost our two other parties, but now we have Union Liberal, as well as Bonapartiste, which I kind of want to do because their interventionist, which isn't terrible. Uh, free trade's alright with me. It's not terrible. Uh, which actually, hold on, free trade, maximum tariff plus 25%. Eh. But they are jingoistic and they have love full citizenship. And they're moralists, so... I kind of like the Bonapartistes. But first we must finish the Belgians off. Rebellion inner ally. Oh. We'll press our claim. Cut down. Add to sphere. Cut down to size. Eh, they're not worth it. It's only fire prestige. So that's a case. They're gone. Oh, we still don't like... Oh, they still... Oh, hmm. I think they might be next. Hopefully. We'll see. And actually, did Hung Austria did not have the Hungarian problem, huh? Oh, oh well, maybe I should keep them then. If they're allied with the Brits, I don't, I don't get involved then. No, thank you then. No, thank you. The British Empire will deal with in the Great War. Hey, conservative and reactionary parties. Let's see who actually wins. Union Liberal. Got it. Okay, we're Bonapartiste. Let's see. So let's take a look. We're still getting money from actually technically Mexico and China now, which is not bad. I'll cut that down lower. Raise this up a little bit more. Oh, that's well. We got the max amount of terrorists that we can do. Uh, I don't really want to go up there. Uh, oh, they're blockaded. Well, let's keep our guys where they're at for now. One of our generals is dead. Whatever. 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 Uh, after this war, they're definitely not going to be a great power ever again. They're 11th right now. So, I wonder who's going to be the next great power. Maybe someone else. I don't know. We'll attack these guys all together. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Yeah, they don't have that much artillery, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see. So we have everyone done. Who's the most attack? He's level one at or you know plus one attack. You guys have plus one attack, more morale, and then you have plus one attack. It doesn't matter. All right, boys, go on in. Oh, and the, the yeah, this guy's getting in there too. Ooh, we're crossing from a river. That's pretty bad. I'm out of men fighting on this. Oh, and the Germans have found it. Are narco liberals? Uh, we're not done with you yet, boy. Get back here. Taki senpais. Uh, like great 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 grandfather I'm sorry talkie that's got to be done hey new political party radic oh well let's take a look what do they have let's see well that's a fair I don't like that I don't like I, I like that one I like full citizenship pacifism that is just mm, I don't like that one right now uh, you could probably send you to go over there and both of you just help siege him down and let's go ahead and increase our relations with the Brits, because we can. And how about the Austrians? I love the Austrians until they want to fight us for Italy. Oh, that's a nice... That's kind of nice purple. I need to play as two Sicily sometime. Uh, oh, and their ships were here too, and we just immediately just demolished them. Go back to Paris just in case we have Jacobins. Better supply limits? Great. Cultural stuff, we're doing okay. It is 49. Ooh, by the time we get to 50, I do want to do empiricism. Oh, that's 60, actually. That's 50. So let's maybe... Is there any tech we can do that's really quick? Not really. I like integrated chemistry. 6,000. I guess we'll do early railroads. I like railroads. I like roads. I like building roads. If you know me at all, I, in Hoi 4, I just build roads all the flipping bad word times. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, Belgium, you deserved it. Nope. I'm going to wait. Because I want to fully siege us down. And actually, does anyone else want anything from them? No? Okay. Oh, look at that. Carlos Spain. All right. Since you're out of the UK again, it's all right. And maybe they'll offer us something here. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. All right. I'll just manually do it. That's fine. I don't really care. Now, this is looking slightly better. 
I would like to take Luxembourg, but they're in the satellite of the Dutch, and the Dutch have quite a few people. So we're not going to take them out just yet. I might reform some of these armies up. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I probably won't, actually, because we got to have a lot of power projection. In the meantime, let's keep you guys around there and have a good good time. And so we are here are once again, ready to take out a little bit more of Colombia. Why Colombia? Because I know that for a fact, or maybe maybe not for a fact, but a good feeling that Barranquilla or Quilla, will be a pretty good place to get especially before these guys become too strong and powerful. Ooh, they have slaves, too. But I would like to get out chunks of Venezuela as well, especially before America gets too involved down here, so. And, uh, it's 1850. In 1851, we can go back to war with uh, China. For some reason, my brain just froze there, but, hey. Time to grab some of these guys. We can call our allies in. You know? If they accept, it's not my fault. Beautiful. I don't know why you're all the way over there, but let's go and do that. And come on over here, too. I know I could probably split out the transports, but I, I'm too lazy to split them off, so. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's a good thing our guys have a lot of strength. Ooh. I, I wanted to build another army. God dang it. It's all right. Yeah, a lot of these soldiers are dying just because, well, look at that. Wow. Jacobins. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's grab some of this. I love getting more educational stuff for our peoples. Um, yeah. God dang Jacobins. It's alright, though. Um, I give them as many reforms as they want. So, And our soldiers have are maxed out on military spending, so they'll, they'll do okay. I'm really not worried about this. Yeah, a few thousand soldiers die here and there. And these guys come in around, smashing people to bits. <sighs> Wouldn't be France if we didn't revolt at least once or twice every so often. Oh. Luxembourg. We like the Luxembourgish. Also, who took the place of... Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. The French... Uh, uh, the, the Hungarians actually revolted. Uh, the Netherlands took the 8th place as the most powerful... 8th most powerful nation in the world. So, it is what it is. Whatever. Yep. Whatever. And the Americans are arriving. You know what? I guess they don't believe in the Monroe Doctrine in this campaign. That's, oh, look at that. Uh, let's take a look where that is. Maripasupa. Oh, it's, oh, I forgot about this area. I forgot we own this this group down here. Oh, yeah, build it up. Why not? Hey, got quite a few French people here down here. I love population transfers and controls and such. All right, so these guys are surrounded, which is great. The Americans have arrived, and we're still second in the world. We have a the fourth. Who has a bigger military than us? Oh, it's because probably we were losing all these guys. So it is what it is, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks like China exploded. I love it when China explodes. Oh, my goodness. As long as Paris is okay, that's really... What? Go, guys, go. As long as Paris is okay, it doesn't matter too much to me. Yeah, we're losing quite a few guys here. And then again, these guys are losing quite a few guys as well. It is what it is. God dang Jacobins. Oh, Transcaucasia's over there, too. Well... Oh, we're in a sea of blue. I kind of like that. There you go. Uh, oh, the Brits did ally you. Oh, no. Then no. If the Brits don't ally you, then I don't want to ally you either. Just saying. We're losing quite a bit of money. We'll, ta we'll raise taxes soon enough. It won't be too bad, hopefully. How much more do we need to actually take these guys out? Oh, let's wait until we get this one done. Nice. Alright, let's take a look. We need quite a bit more. Now, do we have enough strength to attack those guys? We might. They're in the jungle. Which does give them two defense, so it's not worth attacking over there. So let's, let's move around a little bit first. Alright, so we're doing okay here. Still trying to mop up these guys. Wow. I'm going to tell you guys maybe... Ooh. Chaos and French East Borneo. That's not good. Oh, do we not... We have soldiers down there, though, don't we? Go right ahead, guys. You'll be more than fine. I don't have to worry about that. No one in India having problems. We're going to raise taxes immediately. God dang it. I already raised them. Oof. Mm, we can lower the naval spending probably. Mm, this hurts. God dang it. Rebels are pieces of garbage. You're unhappy for what? I'm trying to give you everything that you could possibly ever want. I'm not going to lower uh, military spending because we need to keep military spending for now. 
Alright, we're gonna have to go in debt a little bit. God dang it. You pieces of garbage. Ooh. Ah, uh, sure. All right. Oh, Jacobins, why? Wow, 50,000 dead. Oh, oh, that's in Haiti. Holy bad words. There you go. I won't accept it. Whatever. Worse than so much debt. Oh boy. Oh, those Americans just died there. Well, that's not good. Uh, we got lower spending. I, I, don't, I don't mind cutting this all the way to the bottom if we have to. My goodness. Neglected education. It is what it is. Because these people want too much. What do you expect, son? What do you expect? And like I said, we would have them. So hopefully we'll make a little bit more money now. Nice, 22,000 more died. Good job, France. Good job, Rebels. You just, you're killing literally yourselves for no good reason. All right, we got Bogota. Is that enough yet? No, it's not. Well, it seems like they're going to have to learn a harsher lesson then. Now you want peace? That's fine. We'll go to peace. Yay! More blue. I love blue. It's my favorite color. Not bad, not bad. But I think that's going to end today's episode. Because I think we've done quite enough. I'm going to do that too because again, wow, we got a lot of projects going on because we want to build some roads. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in the comments whether we should invade Switzerland. But I'll see you tomorrow, guys. If you And like I said earlier, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, whatever, blah, blah. Have a great rest of your day.